Welcome back YouTube. Mutton Chop Piper here. Well, as you can see, we have another chat by the fireside. And what's the chat about today? We're going to be talking about the nature of smoke. Now, the nature of smoke when it comes to burning it in a tobacco pipe. Now, tobaccos produce several things. Uh, I've told you before that they produce um, condensation and heat. Um, what I'm going to be talking about is the type of smoke that it produces. Now, if you have a tobacco with high sugar content and low oil content, then you're going to get a nice wispy smoke, thin and wispy. If you have a tobacco that's high in oil and low in sugar, you're going to get a nice thicker plume of smoke. Of course, oil, if common sense says, will burn and give you a thicker, more uh, full-bodied smoke. Now, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about several types of tobaccos and what type of smoke they produce. I've got some notes here. I'm going to read from them. So the first one we're going to talk about is Virginia, Virginia tobacco. Virginia produces a thin smoke because the tobacco has a high sugar content and low oil content. Now, because Virginias have such a high sugar content, they're sweet. So the new pipe smokers out there, you need to be careful when it comes to a straight Virginia. If you're looking for that nice plume of smoke, you won't get it with Virginias. And what you're gonna do is this. You're going to fill your tobacco pipe, light it, and say, well, I'm not getting that plume of smoke. So you're gonna draw harder and harder, trying to get that plume. What that's gonna do is it's gonna produce, it's gonna cause your pipe to be to overheat, to be so hot you can't even hold it, and you're gonna get tongue bite. So if you're, make sure that you read the label and find out what you're smoking. If it has a lot of Virginia in it and it doesn't give you that nice plume of smoke, then you might wanna purchase something else. There, there is, there is a white knight on the way to help us out, to keep that tobacco sweet, yet give us that nice plume of smoke. And that white knight's name is Burley Tobacco. That's our next tobacco we're gonna talk about. Burley is just the opposite of Virginia. It is low in sugar and high in oil. Now, think about it, that oil, high oil content is going to give you that nice plume of smoke. Burley tobacco is the workhorse of the tobacco field. <clears throat> it is used in practically every tobacco product we have. It's used in pipe tobacco, cigarettes, uh, snuff, and chewing tobacco. Now the good thing about burley tobaccos is it takes a casing well or a flavoring. So let's say that we want a sweet caramel tasting tobacco. Well, there's a good bet that there's quite a bit of Virginia for the sweetness and a burley for the nice plume of smoke with a casing, a topping that has been mixed in of caramel. So you add the Burleys and the Virginia to give you a sweet caramel taste. Now that's for aromatic smokers. So what if you're an English smoker? What do you do? Well, got the answer to that too. The next tobacco we're talking about is Latakia. Latakia tobacco is, it burns slow and it also is high in oil and low in sugar, but it is a spicy tobacco. It has a lot of body. It's a fuller tasting tobacco. Uh, Latakia tastes like, if you've ever been to a campfire, and let's say that uh, you put the logs in and you put everything in, and that smoke starts to rise up and then all of a sudden it kind of, the wind changes and hits you in the face and you kind of get some of that in your mouth, that smoke, that's what it tastes like. <clears throat> it has that smoky, that uh, earthy, um, woodsy kind of taste. 
So that's, uh, that's what Latakia tastes like. And so if you combine that with just a little bit or some Virginia, then that's going to sweeten that, that Latakia up a little bit to where it doesn't have, it doesn't overwhelm you with that earthy, uh, smoky campfire taste. Uh, but that's for, that's used for the English smoker. Burleys might be put in there for, uh, let's, well, you can case Burleys too. Uh, a lot of English uh, smokers uh, will accept some Burleys with casings like uh, bourbon, uh, champagne, you know, something that it's not sweet and sappy. Uh, like uh, like uh, uh, caramel or uh, some other kind of sweet tasting like you're smoking a candy bar. Uh, but they will accept a lot of times like bourbon or some kind of alcoholic type of casing. Uh, they can deal with that. Now the last one we're going to talk about is Perique. <coughs> Now, the way Perique is made is it's made in one place, made in Louisiana. The way it's made is the leaves are put into old whiskey barrels, and then they're pressed to where no oxygen can get to the leaves of the tobacco. And what happens is the tobacco ferments in its own juices. They'll take it out after three months, let it air out, put it back in, and press it again. They do this for two years. Then they process it and they send it off to blenders. Now, Perique is a condiment only tobacco. It is very strong. It's dark. It's strong. It's peppery. It's spicy. Um, so if you use a lot of Perique in your blend, it's going to overwhelm the whole blend and that's all you're going to taste. So let's say that you're uh, English smoking to English tobacco smoking person and you want something that is that has that is it's sweet but it has a bourbon um, campfire taste and it has a little bit of pepper in the background so what you would do is you would combine a little bit of Virginia some burley case with bourbon and some perique for that little pepperiness in the background. That's it. That's how that's that's how you combine tobaccos to get a certain blend. Okay, let's review real quick. <coughs> we have several types of tobaccos. We have Virginia, Burley, Latakia, and Perique. Virginia's they produce a nice thin wispy smoke. The Burleys, Latakia, and Perique, a nice full-bodied smoke. You combine these tobaccos in order to get, in order to have your cake and eat it too. You want a nice plume of, of smoke, but you want it sweet. Then you add burley, which, which is cased, with Virginia's, and you have your tobacco. You have the sweet, sweetness of the Virginia's and the plume of the burley. Uh, if you're an English smoker, you combine Virginia's Latakia's and some Perique and that will give you that nice earthy uh, campfire taste and a little pepper in the background but it won't be overwhelming because the Virginia is in there to soften those strong flavors. All right that's it for today. Uh, I hope that you learned something. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking about next but I'm pretty sure it's going to be informative. So until next time, I'd like to wish you and your family happy piping.